नमस्ते सभी को वेलकम वी टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी बाय द सेल्फ एंड वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अप टू स्टेप फाइव सो टिल स्टेप फाइव वी हैव बीन सीइंग इफ वी क्विकली रिकैप in exercise 2 observing the self and the body by the self in step 1 we saw that i exist i can see that i can see the activities going on within me i can also see that the body exists the body is an also, also one reality and i can see that it exists because i can read sensations from the body in step 2 we tried to see that this interaction that is happening from time to time between myself and the body this is in the form of exchange of information so if i am giving some instruction that is some information if i am reading some sensation from the body that is also information nothing physical is being exchanged and in this whole process in step 3 we saw that i am the one who is deciding i am the one who is uh sort of reading the sensation based on whatever is important to me because there are many sensations that are there in the body i choose to read only that which is significant for me which i think is important and i give instructions you know i process that whatever sensation i read i taste that sensation based on that i come to some conclusion i decide something and i give instructions to the body and the body follows accordingly in step 4 we were seeing that when i read the sensation i can see that, that i am not the sensation neither am i in the sensation but i can observe this sensation from a distance so the sensation is in the body i am a distinct entity i am the consciousness i am reading this sensation in the body so there is a distance between me the consciousness and the material body in step 5 we were trying to see this process of exchange of information what exactly is happening and then we could see that there are many steps involved here and most of the stops steps are going on within me a very small part of this is actually taking place in the body so if we look at sensations sensations could be within the body sensations could be some information of the outside through the body so if the source of the sensation is an event outside the body it could be related to an interaction with another human being or it could be related to some something physiochemical in nature so if it is related to an interaction with another human being so if you look at the behavior of the other human being it has some effect on the body so if somebody is shouting the very fact that we say is shouting that is a meaning that i have given to it whether i say shouting whether i say crying in pain whether i say um distressed those are meanings that i am giving essentially that sound is reaching the body leading to some sensation in the body the sense organ ear it has some impact on that and those vibrations 
lead to some sensation in the body. This much is happening in, in the body. Now in the cell, I am trying to read this sensation. I am tasting this sensation. So now out of all the sensations that are there in the body at that time, at that moment, I choose to read and taste this particular sensation over every other sensation. And I give meaning to that sensation. This taking the decision to read the sensation, this itself depends on my sanskar. Based on my sanskar, whatever I think important, I choose to do that. Now I give meaning to this sensation. This is also on the basis of my sanskar. With this meaning that I am giving, either I am influenced or not influenced. Now if you look at my sanskar, which is based on assuming. So I, you know, my sanskar is based on assuming in the lack of understanding. So I may assume that this person is shouting at me. Now I have given the meaning that he is shouting. I have also given the meaning that he is shouting at me. And with that, I am deciding something. So chances are, I am going to be influenced by this. And I decide to have a feeling of opposition. I may not be aware of this decision. Or it could be that I already have feeling of opposition. And based on, you know, my sanskar. And with that, I am going through this process. So now I have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable. With that, I am unhappy and I may choose to react. I may get upset, I may get irritated, I may get angry. And depending on the situation outside, I also decide, choose whether to express this outside or not to express this outside. And accordingly, I instruct the body and then the body follows whatever instruction I give to it, the body does that. And then there is the expression outside. Similarly, you can see even in the case of the environmental changes, some effect is there on the body, but I decide that this is cold weather, this is bad weather, this weather is um, you know, it's not good. All these meanings I give to it. Sensation in the body is very definite. But these meanings I am giving. I smell food. On the basis of the smell, it is actually just the aroma of the food is reaching the sense organ, the nose and causing some sensation. I am the one who is deciding this is tasty food, this is not nice food. Similarly, when I taste the food, when I look at the food, when I taste the food, there is some sensation, but I am the one who is deciding that this is nice, this is not nice. So I'm giving some meaning to that sensation. And this is also dependent on my sanskar. Again, if we look at a sanskar based on assuming without understanding, then what I try to do is I often get influenced by this sensation. And I may decide my feeling based on that. So I may have expectation of a certain kind of food. And 
if the sensation that I am expecting, right, the meaning that I have given, if I don't get that, then I may choose to have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable. I may get angry, I may get disturbed. So supposing I, you know, I see, you know, the dish that has been made, it is one of my favorite dishes and I'm expecting a certain taste in that dish. But when I start eating, there is no salt in the dish. So I don't get that taste, which I was expecting. Now that meaning that I gave to that sensation that this is, this food is not worth eating. It is useless. I am getting influenced by this and I have this anger within me. I don't have acceptance for this kind of food. I have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable. I am irritated, unhappy. So I'm reacting inside. And I may choose to express this outside. So I may shout, I may get angry. I may say something uh, which is with irritation to the other person who has made the food. All this, my body will do the action according to my instruction. But if I am at work, same thing happens. I may choose not to express it outside, but still the reaction may be going on inside me. On the other hand, if I have understanding, if my sanskar is based on knowing, then even though I taste that sensation, I, I'm still choosing to taste that sensation based on my sanskar. But now the meaning that I give to it is just this, that there is less salt in the food. So I need not be influenced by that because my sanskar is based on knowing. I have already ensured the right feeling in me. So I am not influenced by this. I don't become unhappy with this. My feeling is already ensured. I'm secure with that feeling. And I respond to the situation. I just get up, put some salt. And eat the food. So I instruct my body to do accordingly. The body follows. In this case, I responded. So like this, we will see that this is constantly going on. Constantly in the sense, this, what decision I take, what meaning I give to so many of the sensations that I come across, that meaning that I am giving is depending on my sanskar. Mm -hmm. And based on that, I continue to be either influenced or uninfluenced. Similarly, when there are some events taking place in the body, some sensations are there. Now, many sensations are there in the body, but I am choosing to read a particular sensation at a particular time because I think it is important. And if we pay attention, we can see that this is also due to my sanskar. Then I give some meaning to it. And similarly, I am either influenced or not influenced. I have the right feeling or I don't have the right feeling. Right meaning, one that is naturally acceptable. So if, it, if I have a feeling that is naturally acceptable, I am happy. If I have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable, I am unhappy. So when my sanskar is based on assuming without knowing, I don't know what's going to happen. I may be 
having the right feeling i may not have the right feeling depending on the input depending on the sensation that i have read so then i react i may be reacting inside and whenever i decide that i want to express it outside i express it outside and give the instruction to the body and of course the body follows so all of this we were talking about this so we could see that i am choosing i am deciding whether to read or not to read a sensation this is dependent upon my sanskar the meaning that i give to the sensation that also depends on my sanskar whether i get influenced or not that also depends on my sanskar so ultimately all this decision that i am going through whether i am reacting or responding all of this my happiness and happiness everything is dependent upon my sanskar so it is necessary to have a sanskar based on understanding so that i can be in a state of happiness i can rightly evaluate the input that i get and respond because whenever my sanskar is not based on understanding my feeling it's not definite what it is going to be so i may evaluate all this input very incorrectly like in that example we gave of shouting at me versus seeing that the other person is in distress so i become excited and i react in this state of unhappiness and you will notice that this with this kind of a sanskar what happens is that we keep avoiding situations things people that we dislike based on our sanskar and we keep clinging to tastes to situations outside to people that we give the meaning like so we are constantly choosing based on likes and dislikes rather than referring to the natural acceptance if we start referring to the natural acceptance then slowly our sanskars are going to change from being based on assumptions our focus will shift to having a sanskar based on understanding or at least in line with natural acceptance to begin with so this much we had discussed and we were taking your observations taking your sharings and we can continue to do that today before we go to the next step step 6 uh uh yesterday or the day before yesterday i had fever cough uh back pain a uh, lot of things uh, uh, in my body when i absorb that one when i absorb okay i can overcome from that pains uh more heaviness in my eyes and more back pain I had actually fever also i took the medicine still i had all those things when i keep observing those parts i'm able to overcome from those pains didi Mm-hmm. and i participated in all the activities okay i, I went to college i did my duty i'm able to do all the activities nice uh, uh, that's what i want to share yes today today it is better i feel nice. better no pains actually a little bit but i can overcome from all those when when i observe those parts nice very nice because you are observing from a distance yes so you are yes, not yes. you are not so identified with that sensation so you are able to see 
that this is something that you can take responsibility for and you may take the medicine but now you don't suffer these symptoms yes yes there is 100% yes yeah very when is saying uh, by saying my is, oh yeah you are not feeling well i think so uh, look at your size everyone is saying still i'm i'm able to do, do all the activities uh, ma'am uh, yesterday in the republic day program uh, the speaker uh, what we arranged in the college is not working properly uh, so that uh, i uh, told somebody they operate that uh, speaker i asked them to uh, check it because it is not coming the voice is not coming properly and uh, no one take care and uh, uh, i don't know how to do that uh, so that i request the people they are not coming forward and do it ma'am uh, i by the time i didn't express anything but in uh, when i observe myself uh, i have some bad feeling because the people th- those who know they are not coming forward and do it uh, uh, even though i am not express in front of anybody i feel bad ma'am uh about them that is the i what you are expressing that is our samskar uh, i feel so now uh, even though uh, uh, we are not express out we have su- su- such kind of feeling that is yes. the one thing and another thing i, I express the same thing after completion of the program to the uh, sir sir we have, we have to take care of this uh, repeatedly so many program we have the same problem uh, has been no uh, sir told that uh, the mic is okay but the people who are uh, holding that mic that may be the position that is wrong actually it is uh, i know that everybody know that the, that is uh, mic is not good uh the, the uh, sound is not coming properly by that time i didn't say anything to sir but uh, i feel so bad ma'am <laughs> that is that i want to say that means yeah, feel yeah. so bad try to identify the feeling yeah ma'am feeling means uh, means the people uh, why they are not understand even though we can see uh, what is going on they are saying uh, means wrong thing that's why hey ma'am yeah a yeah. lot of times in such situations no we keep feeling disturbed we may have feeling mm. of opposition mm-hmm. once we have said something we give up but we continue mm. with that feeling of opposition now nothing yeah. gets done you can the choose totally... to take some other route uh-huh. you can take the help of others mm-hmm. who have faced the same situation you can give it in writing that yeah. there is this problem we are facing mm. and a lot of times there is strength in numbers where people may not pay attention to one person saying something like this management may look at it differently when several people are saying the same thing isn't it when it is a real problem then one can discuss with them and try to resolve that situation same situation i mean this is just one example i'm giving mm-hmm. there can be many ways to look at it and your case this is what you were looking at now or somebody mm-hmm. else if the mm-hmm. mic is not working i may have lot of anxiety i may panic what's happening now you can see i am very conscious about what the other might be thinking about me so now this reaction is different from the reaction that you mentioned our sanskars are different so i already have this very strong sanskar about getting the right feeling from the other so i am very anxious now when i think that the other may not be having the right feeling for me mm-hmm. i am very self conscious these are kind of fears which mm-hmm. i have not faced mm-hmm. fear in the sense it is a sanskar which i have mm-hmm. not looked at mm-hmm. so i continue with this and i may find fault with of course that the situation did not happen the way it went this problem was there certainly the problem was there i compounded that inside mm-hmm. me that event by being influenced by this mm-hmm. by choosing to have 
a feeling that is not naturally acceptable and becoming unhappy. Mm-hmm. I need not do that. Mm-hmm. I can directly see this situation mm-hmm. and respond. Mm-hmm. I, I repeatedly say myself that I should not think uh, because it is not my fault. I should feel I should not feel bad. But uh, I observed uh, so many times uh, repeatedly that thought is coming to my mind. Yeah, yesterday. because we are not seeing mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. you know, here what we are trying to do is we are trying to find fault with somebody who is responsible mm-hmm. for this. Mm-hmm. And they are not doing this. They are not doing this. That is yeah. my part. Yeah, Isn't yeah, it? ma'am. Sure, ma'am. What sure. is my role? I am not focusing on that. So if yeah, we just ma'am. change that outlook, mm-hmm. if we just look at what is my role in this, mm-hmm. if I see the relationship, I will see my role. Mm-hmm. If I don't see that relationship, mm-hmm. I will be into that blame game. They didn't do mm-hmm. this. They didn't do that. Therefore, mm-hmm. I have this problem. You see the meaning I'm giving? Now, if we look here, it is pretty much the same thing. Colors are different. (laughs) But essentially, here we are just observing our response or reaction. But essentially, the same process will go through. So whether it be the behavior of another human being, as the outside event. Somebody is speaking something, somebody is gesturing, whatever it may be. It could have something to do with the physical facility, the physiochemical event outside, the weather, heat, cold, tasty food, bland food, whatever it may be. Or it could be some event in the body, some sensation in the body, based on all the events that are taking place. Now, when I read the sensation, you can see that I'm reading that sensation that I think is important. This depends on my sanskar, what I'm paying attention to. And what kind of meaning I give to that, this also depends on my sanskar. And then choosing to respond or react. This also depends on the meaning that I gave, like in the example we were just taking. And then I give the instruction to the body accordingly. So in some situations, I may instruct the body not to do anything. In other, not to do anything meaning not to express that reaction outside. In other situations, I may decide it's okay to express the reaction outside also. And I choose to do that. And I instruct the body and then the body does. So, the sanskar is very important because it is leading to all of this. What is the situation when my sanskar is based on assumptions? So, I don't have the right understanding. My sanskar is based on some assumption. So when I don't have the right understanding, I also don't have the right feeling. When I don't have the right feeling, I am not happy within. It is not ensured in me. That continuous happiness that I want, I am not able to ensure it because when I don't have the right understanding, I am not able to ensure this feeling within. So I keep looking for this happiness from outside whether it be the sensation of tasty food, whether it be the right feeling from another human being, whatever may be the reason. But I am looking, whatever may be the way that I am looking for happiness, I am looking for happiness from outside. So, I am getting influenced by that sensation. So if I like the taste of the sensation or the feeling that I am trying to get, that I have deduced from this sensation, then I become happy, what I think is happy. But it will be momentary. So I get excited and I want to continue with that taste. I have a craving for it. 
when it is not there i crave it i think about it i want it when it is there i want to cling to it i don't want it to go away so this is what is attachment isn't it so this is also a reaction so whatever i like like and dislike again is my own sanskar i decide in favor of something i like and i avoid something i dislike so this reaction is happening within me now if i dislike the taste of the sensation or the feeling that i am deducing from that sensation because of my sanskar now i have become unhappy this is also a state of excitement this is also a reaction now i want to discontinue with that taste so i avoid it this is a reaction within are we able to see this so this we have to do some in depth observation we have to try to see this this is happening very frequently during the day and we may not pay attention to it or it may not seem significant or important but we can notice this that somewhere we are trying to get the right feeling from outside because my feeling within me is not ensured if my feeling within me is ensured now i am already full i am already with that right feeling within me so i am not trying to get any happiness from outside i am already happy now the whole picture changes for me so even if i am on the stage then mic is not working or if i am displaying some slides the slide is not working the computer is not able to project it on the screen some problem is there whatever may be the case i don't get disturbed i don't become unhappy but i will respond to that situation deal with that situation at that moment and then later whatever else i need to do for it i will do that so that it doesn't repeat in the future there i am looking at the situation the way it is and trying to see what is my role what i can do to solve this issue at hand but if my feeling is not ensured now it's a different matter now depending on my sanskar i react like we were just discussing so i may get very disturbed i may get very anxious i'm worried about you know the clothes i am wearing how i must be perceived by others what the other person might be thinking about me when i am talking what if i can't be heard then now what to do i am panicking here so all of these things whether it be food whether it be whether change whether it be other people that i'm interacting with whether it be something going on in the body i keep giving meaning based on my sanskar and i keep you know wanting to sort of cling to or continue with those sensations that i give the meaning like and i try to avoid those sensations which i give the meaning i dislike 
this we can see that this is happening whether i react inside and express it outside or whether i react inside and don't express it outside there also my sanskar will be working in some situations i will decide it is okay to express it outside in some situations i may decide it is not okay to express it outside so accordingly i give the instruction to the body so if i choose to express it outside i may if somebody is shouting i may shout back i may get irritated mic is not working the other person is not doing it i am doubting their intention i might get irritated i may get disturbed and i am reacting if it is some physiochemical change like for example when the weather is cold now i have given a lot of importance to the body so i may put on layers and layers and layers of clothes because i am so anxious that some disturbance might happen to the body i am almost clinging to the body and this kind of reaction that expression is this overdressing this is one way based on my sanskar similarly if there is something happening in the body like we were just mentioning there is a fever so if the fever is there one way can be to panic to get very disturbed if i can see there is a mild fever there is probably it's a viral still i run to the doctor and i start doing lot of tests because i am worried of about so many other things so you will find in the you know season of dengue in the corona period many people got many tests done even though the state of the body was not so bad so you will see all of this um reactions that are happening and we keep expressing them outside all this can take place i'll give one example and then we can try to spend some time reflecting on it supposing you are walking on the street and a car passes by you there is a puddle of water on the street you have just bathed and you are wearing fresh clothes fresh ironed clothes and you are walking down the street and this car zooms past and the water splashes on you now in this kind of a it's a hypothetical situation but it may happen also what is your what what would you do were you basing your you know if your sanskars were based only on assumption without understanding you will notice that many times we may be reacting we may be very disturbed so you can try to see this that we are having this reaction because of so many sanskars that are behind it so like this there can be many examples and you can try to notice what is going on within you at such times so we'll do a little bit of observation regarding these kind of situations so the example what you gave us i was observing uh i could feel that uh, when i also drive uh, i had made many many times this thing that time i could feel i didn't do it intentionally yes 
so i didn't feel if somebody does for me i will never feel bad for them like no they didn't do it in, that that feeling had come they will not yeah and that. they are not doing it for you you yeah they <laughs> they might be most of the time i might go be going in a speed like no speed to reach a place college so for that time only i have not observed it this water is there yeah. uh, we will be in a hurry all those things i have uh, noticed why i make a mistake uh, so i didn't f- never felt bad for those uh, if it happens to me i won't feel bad but i was again observing uh, it um, if i am going to if, if i am wearing a white cloth it happens what will be my feeling <laughs> <laughs> then i was observing if i go to the college it's fine i can go and wash but today i have a marriage i was very light cloth i don't have time to change so, so what will be my feeling inside <laughs> i was yes. observing that also uh, but many times it had happened i have forgotten also when i come to the college i remember so i i will come in a normal dress only still i i go to the mm-hmm. uh, wedding because i'll meet many students mm-hmm. so it gives a very nice i like no feeling of relationship it is nice to meet them so i was observing if i come in that this how uh, it will be then but then then later on i was thinking for the students it doesn't matter yes it's just in fact what you just mentioned that mm-hmm. if you are wearing the regular clothes when you yeah. go to college and from there directly you go yeah yeah i used to go didi many times i have forgotten also and many teachers yeah. so does it make any difference in the feeling no, no. of the students no no it doesn't make any difference yeah exactly so that so that was i was observing even i've come i didn't have time for washing or anything i i didn't have time to change also it's okay <laughs> i was just observe. but still that uh, many times and this is when we are trying to observe but when we are not observing you know without understanding when our sanskar takes over now again we may react we will notice many many things that the decisions that we are taking we do take these decisions a lot of times without awareness but when we actually start looking at it we may be able to see that so many of our sanskars are working and we are changing our feelings based on these sanskars without the awareness without seeing these i don't know without reading these sensations for what they are but giving a specific meaning based on whatever our own acceptances are so same thing one person says we react a certain way another person says we respond the meaning that we are giving is different in the two situations even though the words expressed were the same so like this you will notice many times during the day many such instances keep taking place for so hamare yahan bhi annual function tha to main ko in charge thi cultural ko in charge to wahan bhi aise bahut thought thought ho raha tha माइक खराब हो रहा है ये हो रहा है वो हो रहा है <laughs> तो मेरे को उन्होंने मैं उनको जैसे वो कहती थी माइक जैसे बच्चे नाटक कर रहे थे और माइक नीचे रख दिया फिर अगली पार्टी स्टूडेंट्स आई तो माइक उठाना भूल गई तो सर एकदम से आए सर आकर के कहने लगे कि ये माइक नीचे क्यों रखा है माइक बच्चों को दो तो जो मेरे साथ इंचार्ज थी वो एकदम नाराज हो गई वो कहने लगी बच्चों वही पे स्टेज पर ही नाटक भी चल रहा है ऑडियंस भी बैठी हुई है बच्चों मैंने तुम्हें कितनी बार मैंने पीछे से उनके बैक पे हाथ रखा बोले बड़े प्यार से मैंने कहा कोई बात नहीं उम्मती मैं मैं गई और माइक उठा करके मैंने बच्चे के हाथ में दे दिया तो इस तरह से छोटी 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 बातें होती जा रही थी वो बार बार एकदम से वो हो जाती थी कि भाई ये क्या हो रहा है और वो माइक उनके हाथ में और बोलना शुरू कर देती थी बातें क्यों कर रहे हो पीछे से सारे फिर मैं उनके बैक पे हाथ रखती थी आराम से मैं कहती थी बाद बाजा कोई नहीं मैं जा रही हूँ मैं चुप करा रही हूँ बच्चा तो मैं ये देख रही थी हर पल कि हम सच में ऐसा होता है कि जैसे ही हम बाहर कोई घटना होती है ना और उसको हम अपनी पहचान से या अपनी रेपो से या किसी भी चीज से जैसे ही हम जोड़ लेते हैं ना वैसे ही हम 
एकदम से रिएक्ट करते हैं और हमें पता भी नहीं चल रहा होता कि हम रिएक्ट कर रहे हैं सो वी विल सी दैट दीज काइंड ऑफ इंस्टेंसेस आर हैपनिंग एवरी डे इन आर लाइफ एंड वी मे नॉट बी अवेयर सो इफ वी इंक्रीज आर अवेयरनेस इफ वी आर अवेयर एट मोर मोमेंट्स वी मे बी एबल टू नोटिस दिस सो टूडे वी विल ट्राई टू डू दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन even though there were hypothetical situations supposing there is an accident something happens a minor you know um collision between you on your vehicle and some other vehicle what happens are you responding or reacting what is the meaning you are giving all of this we can try to see and you don't have to wait for accident you can see in your interaction every day we'll try to do this observation today very closely try to observe the meanings that we are giving whether we are responding or reacting within 